It's technically still a rare disease, but it's nowhere near as rare as we once thought it was. It used to be this very rare disease process that very few people would find, but ultimately, it's probably because of a lack of awareness. Nowadays, the average age of finding patients with pulmonary hypertension are in their 50s and 60s. It's still predominantly more women than men, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't happen in men either. We are finding it more and more in the community, and that's one of our big tasks is education to the community. The more physicians that we get thinking about the disease, the more we're gonna be able to find, the more we're gonna be able to help manage these patients. Like, so, you know, symptoms that we generally see when patients get referred is gonna be something like shortness of breath, things like lower extremity swelling because the right heart just isn't pumping enough blood flow and now you're starting to retain some fluid, right? Getting referred to the right people, cardiologists, pulmonologists to look more of that workup and then we can hopefully go from there to figure out if that's maybe the cause. And we're proud to announce uh, that we are officially a Pulmonary Hypertension Association designated center of excellence. So we do offer that comprehensive care and management for our community. So we'll be happy to uh, take care of you.